This is a weekly check of my uh, blue worm bin. Although I do check it weekly, I only video it monthly. Um, there's usually not much going on here, the usual feeding. So that's why I just video it monthly. Let's see, there's no worms in the top of this bubble wrap. There are a few sprouts. Oh, here's a worm right here. Anyway, um, let's see. I normally feed on this side of the bin. I have it labeled here, so I just feed on one side of the bin. Let's check up and see. I don't recall what I fed them last week. But it looks like they've gone through it, whatever it was. I don't see remnants. I'm sure you could see the worms crawling, crawling, slithering around. It's moist, not overly moist, just right, I believe, for the worms. They're growing in population. I think this is a part of a corn cob, half of a corn cob. Still working on that. But they are throughout, so they've been working on the bedding as far as and whatever else food that was fed last week. Like I said, I don't see any remnant of it, so I need to feed them more, I'm assuming. But I do want them to um work on the bedding, which they have. So hopefully by the end of this month, I'll be able to um, harvest some castings from blue worms. Okay, so Let's feed again on this end of the bin. They've got a little ways to go before they completely break down the bedding. I'm not worried about any type of food that might be left as far as being able to take those out and use it up. Okay, what do we have here? Have a few corn husks. And some um, orange rinds from cuties. I have no idea what this is, this green stuff. green stuff. I don't know what that is. But whatever it is, it has might be 
Oh, I know what that is. It's like some dandelions or whatever that I had gotten out of the garden. Stuck it in a bag. Froze it up. All right, so sunflower seed shells, some asparagus stems. That should be good for them for this week. Some worm chow. back. Interesting. Um, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to kick that. Whenever I see clumps of little dirts or whatever, compost, there always seems to be at least one or more babies in here. I don't know if you could see that. Let me squish it a little bit. I don't want to squish any baby to pieces in here. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's more than one little one in here. So they like to hide in the clumps of dirt. I don't know if hiding is the word or maybe that's how they lay their cocoons is in clumps of um compost or soil if they're in their natural state. So usually when I see a clump, I have to inspect it first before I crush it, before I crush it up to see if, uh, you know, and break up any clumps just to make sure there's no babies in here that I might squish. Anyway, so more so with the uh, blue worms than any of the other worms that I have. Don't know why they like to do that, but they do. Some neem seed. I'm also putting some crushed mosquito dunks on here. that much. Should be good. And then water it up a little bit. Mosquito dump water. That should be good. And replace the the plastic wrap, bubble wrap. I mean, and that's it. And thank you for coming on this journey with me.